Warning, this video may contain content that may not be suitable for children or anyone else that is easily offended. Strong language, graphic content, nudity, bad jokes, and a possible idiot, aka myself, may be featured in the following clip. Newer discretion is advised. Kids are not responsible for any damages that you receive watching this video. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Zims, and welcome to SCP Short Film 096. If you guys haven't already, be sure you zoom down that description box. Click on that link and watch the video in entirety because I'm going to be pausing and stopping and talking about the whole thing. Thank you guys so much, man. The reason why I'm so excited today is because we hit three. Thousand subscribers, bruh. Oh my goodness. I can't thank you guys enough, man. I'm 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 beyond happy. I'm beyond excited. I, I would have never thought this day would come to be honest with you. I've been posting videos for so long, man. It's finally here. Thank you guys so much, man. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Apprentice Zams and welcome to the Crow's Nest. But man, and also thanks to you guys' support uh and all that good stuff. We have unlocked another feature for the channel, which is I think it's memberships or something like that, where I can upload badges. And if you want to do that, a little monthly thing where you can have badges and show off your badges. It's like, oh, I was here for during this time and, you know, it was cool and all that good stuff. You know, you know it, it's there, but, you know, you don't have to do it. I'm just letting you guys know I'm going to start that option here soon. SCP-096, I did a, bit, a little bit of research. It's kind of like Slenderman's crackhead brother. It's like a tall dude where he's kind of thin, but he's muscular, but he doesn't have any skin or anything like that. He can run up to, I think it's, as they said, 18 to 20 miles per hour. So he, he's he's a fast one. So we're going to jump into this, man. If you guys are into SCPs, make sure you go stop by and go watch the other last two or three videos I've uh, reacted to on those. But for now... Let's get it. Ah, ah, ah. That's that 3K girl boy. Ah, go. Be on the lookout for a 3K subscriber specials live stream coming up this Saturday. Yes, this Saturday. Make sure you guys don't miss it. We're going to react to at least four or five videos. And it's, it's just going to be a chill time. So make sure you don't miss it. If not, then you can always go back and watch it. But I'm excited to see, man. That last one kind of messed me up, man. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. I haven't seen uh, Overlord. But that Overlord video was something. Uh, it was crazy, man. I was not expecting that. It's just a whole nother world, man. And it kind of gets you thinking, like, what if stuff like this actually exists? I know sometimes I be going overboard with it but you never know you know so i'm curious to see what this one has to bring to the table i think i've seen this one around but i don't know too much about it like i've seen it way before i knew about scps if that makes sense like i was like oh what is that i see it on pictures and stuff but now that i've seen the number and know what it is you guys explain it to me down in the comment section now i know i've been seeing this thing this entire time so now it's time to see what it's capable of so grab your popcorn grab your snacks fruit snacks man hit that like button hit the subscribe button SCP-096. This video is by Mr. Clay, so if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that description box and go support him. Secure, contain, protect, or destroy for Zims. Yo, he look nervous. I don't know why they be carrying them big-ass suitcases with, like, five papers in it. Just get like a vanilla folder or something. Manila folder. I got, what I call it? Vanilla folder? A manila folder. Just get like a small little notebook or something to carry that. And they got them big ass suitcases. Shit, probably heavy. This is Inspector Early at beginning session five of the investigation for incident 096 1 alpha. I am here with Dr. Daniels. Hello, Doctor. Have you caught it yet? <laughs> yes. I'll be pleased to hear containment has been attained. Oh, thank God. We do have some questions, obviously. It's been very difficult to get a clear picture of the case. I hope you can help us. Oh, they were yes. successful. Yes, of course. Good. Now, Doctor, for the record, where were you when containment was broken? I was on an excavation in the mountains, comparing lab samples with local geology. And in your absence, who was in charge of the lab? Dr. Oleksii. And how was 096 being held? As per protocol. 096 is being kept in class 13 containment queue. Euclid. No windows, no cameras, no one that is possible to see its face. Any instrumentation or life support system is in strict compliance. Thank you. What? what? Exactly was containment broken? I haven't been informed at the exact time yet. Yes, of course. Apologies, Doctor. We're a bit disorganized ourselves. I know. We know. 
So right now he's being he's being spectacular. I think they have to. I mean they have to investigate everybody. They think that he has something to do with it. But my thing is, how do you even clean that thing's cage if no one can be in there looking at it? So you just lock it away and you just it's like, what do you do if you can't? Unless you just go in there and not look at it and it won't bother you, I guess. But that's gonna be some hard ass cleaning to go up in there, bro. They about to be losing troops left and right. MTFs are everyone's fault. Are they watching us? You must be more specific, Doctor. Mm, okay. Oh, five. Are they watching us? Yes. Well, maybe now they'll listen to me when I say we need to kill it. This could have been a catastrophe. Unfortunately, it's a I like that, dude. Yeah, shall we? Oh! Relax, Doctor. All should... protocols have been followed. He should be on an NBA team. All personnel inside Stage 2 containment saw its base. Unfortunately, that was just the start. Recording. Oh. Ooh. Yo, you can't look at it? Okay, uh, this is researcher Michael Allen and researcher Daryl Landry. Reporting an event with 096. At approximately 1557, audio blips were picked up by sensors Alpha 1 and Alpha 2. There it is again. The readings are showing 096 on the north wall, stationary. You should uh, get Alexi down here. We said Alexi, is that that Google thing? Oh, that's Alexa. It should hold, right? Just get a hold of Alexi. Six's target, which we've labeled 096-1, was nowhere close by. Wait, wait, wait. In the event of a stage one breach, the automated protocols ensure that a sleeping agent... The automated protocols failed to start. In the event of an automation failure, it would be up to the operations chief. In this case, Dr. Alexi. Where the hell was he? He was found hiding in the janitorial closet in Vision 3. Dead. Indeed. Bruh. That's you idiot. How the hell did that thing break out? I'm sorry for your loss, Doctor, but we do have a lot more to cover. They need to cover them damn walls. The base, 096 moved in a straight vector towards the mountains. Bruh. That little baby ass cube they had him in. I knew it was like kind of flimsy. It had no bars. One approaching estimated target location. Over. Copy, Hog 1. Maintain vector. That's crazy, bro. I don't know, bro. I think I've got something. Target visual. Clear for strafing round over. You're clear. That better be that damn Roadrunner down there, or Speedy Gonzalez, bro. That it better not be 096 running like that, bro. Like they're giving away free burgers at McDonald's or something, or McNuggets. That better not be him, bro. He kicking up dust. Through that damn Fine. jet, bruh. Oh, my lord. Direct hit. No. No. Oh, no, bruh. No this effect. I repeat. No effect on target. Copy, Hog 1. Return to base. Oh, Retrieval what? team. Maintain vector. You see how fast he is? to keep track of. It doesn't show up on satellite thermal imaging. Oftentimes, we were only able to track it by the path of destruction. About two hours into pursuit, it crossed the state highway. We were lucky it was slightly traveled at the time. Twelve people still saw its face. We need more preparation. 
for when, not if, but when there was a breach. You did have a considerable budget, Dr. Fred. It seems that most of your focus was on the scramble goggles. Bruh, I'm sorry. I can't get out of my head how fast he was, bruh. He must, he was survived machine gun bullets. He survived a missile, bruh. And you about to put MTF troops down there? You think they about to retrieve this thing again? Bruh, nah. If, if you think, if those didn't work, them 50 cal rounds, whatever it was, bruh, you think them little baby 5.56 five, or 762 rounds is about to damage that thing? Bruh, you need a ray gun or a wonder waffle from Call of Duty, bruh, 100%. Then you gotta put it in the upgrade machine, and then you gotta get a little bit of stopping power and maybe a revive just in case you get knocked down. Cause this thing is on a mission, bruh. Like, mmm, bruh. He like, oh man, that thing, bruh. I couldn't, bruh. I would've put my paper in right now. I would've put in my two weeks notice, bruh. Hell no. Nah. Yes, I've said time and again that the scramble program was the only achievable technology to give us a fighting chance. Especially when you assholes want to do proper research. As I said, it has always been a win. Doctor, please, we have a lot more to cover. Yeah, they never listened to us too late. To reached victim 096-1, a young man who lived on a small farm. Oh, the kids too. Oh my God, get out of there. Ian? Get out of there. Oh my Lord. Ian? You don't see that thing? Is that Ian? I don't know, she needs to get her eyes checked, bro. Ain't no way in hell you didn't see that big ass thing sitting inside the farm doors, bro. Like, you need glasses? Like, damn, man. Amazon Prime some binoculars or something, bro. I could have seen that big ass thing from that far away. Why didn't you let me Facts. For the record, Doctor, you don't know how to kill it. Much of the research you requested equates to torturing 096, which is inhumane. Yeah. Inhumane. Inhumane. There's nothing human about that. Thing. Facts. People died. Yes, Doctor, people have died. Isn't that a tragedy? You people are a bunch of goddamn psychopaths. Right. Our only concern is to secure, contain, and protect. Which brings us to our next point. What? So you gonna tell me your scramble goggles? Don't worry about it. Don't tell her. Just for the record, Doctor. Don't do it. A mixed reality goggles. Each eye is fed video feed. An AI detects and scrubs out all known senses in this field. Hmm. Brilliant solution to a very complicated problem. Expensive too. It's a shame. Bruh, they made it seem like human life is not even important. She said, eh, keep it in human lives. But you want to kick care of that thing? You're approaching the condom. They want to treat that thing like it's a kid. But that's inhumane. And they, oh, fuck with people. One Bravo clearing structure line. Wow, bruh. That's crazy. They don't care about human life. But they care about damn creatures, bruh. Run, bruh. I just found a ground and played dead, bruh. 
Thank you, Autumn. of MTF Tau One was terminated. Eight of the best mobile task force we have. They should have worked on my tests. They were supposed to work. All of this brings us to the source. Mm -mm -mm. This tragedy. Mm -mm -mm. Let's be honest, that shit wasn't gonna work anyway. He said the bag and face. They he just tore through a road. He just ran across the desert, survived two missiles, and you about to put a damn bag on his head? I don't know. I don't think it was the scramble goggles or scramble goggles or whatever it was, but I think that thing did something to make shit make it work. Maybe he screeched or something and it messed up the frequency, but I'm pretty sure them goggles was working, because after the case it would have cut out back there. I think he did something. I still don't know enough information about it either, so why not? trying to blame this dude when well, he told you I should get rid of it but he don't know how to so I don't know them glasses are kind of cold though like amigo glasses <laughs> Mama. who's that The important part is still in the envelope, Doctor. Is this? Yes. What was an original photograph of 096 in the wild? Someone photographed it. We dated the photograph to the 1980s. It seems the original photographer and all of its subsequent viewers were completely unaware of 096's presence until a young man at the farmhouse that is. This has been scratched out by hand. By who? How? Your scramble goggles proved to be somewhat useful after all. Hmm. Yeah, they were. <laughs> oh, his goggles work. So what you gonna do? Like tickle them or something? <laughs> Oh, he ate their face. Is that a pacifier? Echo Romeo Alpha One, what's wrong? Oh, he ate the baby. Uh, yeah. Nothing. Mm mm mm. That thing is a monster, monster. <laughs> Bro, his butt cheeks all out. That's crazy. It's hot girl summer. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Holy shit. Better than me. Big brother, target is triggered. Scratch it, scratch it. So small in the image, it took up less than four pixels. Four pixels? That's not even a lot, bro. That's crazy. Four pixels. What are you sorry? Supposed to save lives. Not take them. What was the final casualty count? 
15 civilians, 48 Foundation members, 63 deaths in total. He fired. He dead. They about to kill him. So, that's what all this is about. So much death. And you want someone to pit it on, eh? Pretty someone much. Someone to punish. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's how it is. Doctor, in here, you will find the clearances necessary to begin termination trials on SCP-096. The O5 Council has come to your side. Do you mean I'm allowed to kill it? <laughs> kill it? <laughs> You're allowed to try. <clears throat> All we ask is that in your termination attempts, you solidify the research and create a more effective solution to our containment needs. Mm. Dr. Daniels, is there anything else you'd like to say on record? I told you so. No. No, I think that's everything. You sound like Tor from Overwatch. This concludes session five of the SCP-096-1 Alpha investigation. Uh, My condolences mm -hmm. to you for the loss of your colleagues. Yep. Trying to make them feel bad. He can try to kill him, but it's going to make him more angry, in my opinion. He might even grow some more. Who knows? But right now, bruh, SCP-096 is number one in my book right, right now. This dude's a, a beast, bruh. Like, he's a monster, bruh. There's no... Nobody's touching him right now. No matter what SCP you guys showed me so far, this dude, 096, is a monster, bruh. Straight goat so far. I don't know. Y'all gonna be like, well, try this SCP. This is my favorite one. But no, seriously, this dude's a goat. He's smart. I'll give him that. Yeah. <clears throat> Are the O5s still in line? We're still here. And Inspector Everett is right. Well done, Arlia. Thank you, madam. It was short of a confession, but I believe we have enough. It's a shame. Daniels really is brilliant. If you were more motivated, perhaps you could have unlocked the secrets to 096's uncanny sensory abilities. Oh, Easy to prove at his point. The only thing he's proven is that he's as much of a monster as he considers us. That's enough. How? Inspector Arlia, after everything you just saw, has your hunch been confirmed? I believe so. The way he handled the photograph, he's definitely familiar with it. I suspect he's been holding on to it for a stunt like this. But still, how can he have worn the legacy? Yeah. His absolute control was our first lead. Outside help? Cap. Has Lexi given us anything new? No, he's staying loyal. Although his initial discrepancies are damning enough. Get what we can out of him. Then he's to be terminated. Quickly and quietly. Remember, he's officially already dead. Yes, ma'am. When do we inform Daniels that we know he orchestrated the breach? Only after he kills it. Aw, oh, damn. Bruh, I'm this whole time I'm sitting here, so I like the evidence. Like, do they okay? Are they trying to say that he orchestrated that's the breach so that they can give him permission to side with him in order to kill him, or is just saying that because the measures and stuff that didn't go off because they said, Oh, the sleeping thing didn't go off. So, are they trying to say to make sure that that thing can escape without them being able to subdue him so he can go out, wreak havoc, and then they'll be like, You know what, this thing is dangerous. Make sure you kill that thing. So now, after he kill it, they're gonna kill him. Mind you, this dude has been there for a long time. You can see he's old, he's an older man. He's probably been putting in work at this facility for years on years, doing everything perfectly. As soon as he made one mistake, they try to kill him. But mind you, he did it on purpose, that's what they're saying. So if he did it on purpose, then hey, you got what you're coming to. You messed with the wrong organization, my friend. Uh, uh, they're not one to be played with. So, I mean, it is what it is. But this is a great video. I know a couple of you guys told me to react to it, man. Thank you guys so much for this one. 096 right now standing out to me. That's probably one number that I will remember out of all of them because dude's a tank, bruh. That's the tallest skinny tank I've ever seen, bruh. He was fast. I told y'all guys, it was like 18, 20 miles per hour, bruh. He was moving. He was going pretty fast, bruh. I'm gonna end it right here, guys. If you guys wanna see this video in entirety, make sure you swoop down in the description box. Click on the link and watch the video in entirety because I was pausing and stopping and talking through the whole thing. This video is by Mr. Clay, so if you guys haven't already, make sure you go stop by, hit the like button, go show some support to him. Also, thank you guys again for the 3K subscribers. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Prelzims, and welcome. 
to the crow's nest. But again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Let me know down in the comment section what are your favorite SCPs, and I'll do some research on them. Uh, if they have any short films on them, let me know, and I'll go check those out. These are pretty cool. Uh, it's a whole nother, like, world, I guess, of scary or creepiness that I've been uh, unlocked, so that's uh, different for me. But yeah, also, please let me know down in the comment section if you guys want me to uh, do that membership thing, and if so, uh, let me know.